and welcome once again. This is Joe Drums coming to you. How's everybody doing? Happy Easter, by the way. I uh, just figured I'd uh, make a new video today and talk to you about the last installment about Around the Drums with Triplets with this book by Paul Capazzoli. And basically, what we're going to be talking about today is literally moving around the drum set. The last couple of videos, I was just using the tom and the snare. Now this one's going to be using all four. Of course, I'm using the bass drum to kind of keep time with, but at the same time, I'm kind of moving around the toms, uh, somewhat like Bonham does with his drum solos. If you ever notice on some of the, uh, you know, the videos that they have of him doing drum solos, he's always doing triplets around the drums. He can do them this way and that way, and and do crossovers and stuff like that. This is the basic stages of that. So. Yes, you know, granted it's, it's the beginning stages of doing this, you wonder, well, how is this ever going to help me? But this is how you learn to get around the drum set. Like I was saying in my prior videos, is that if you don't know, like if you're trying to go on a trip and you don't know how to get there, it's going to be hard if you don't have a map. And I kind of think of this as like a map to get around the drum set and get you motivated and, and to have fun moving around the drum set, uh, other than just playing you know, patterns and stuff. Those are cool too, don't get me wrong. But again, this is about drum soloing, so this is the beginning stages of it. So that's why I'm kind of you know, harping on this, the same subject about drum soloing, because it's so important. I think every drummer needs to kind of you know, spread their wings and kind of do some awesome you know, fills and soloing. And not only does this help just soloing, but it also helps doing fills. You know, now you can think of different ways of doing it. A lot of you guys might have, you know, two toms and maybe one floor tom instead of two over here. Again, Bonham was a real firm believer on this setup. He just loved the way this was. And the reason why is because, of course, this ride cymbal is right here. And a lot of the times when he would play certain rhythms, that ride cymbal was just there and at a nice, even spot for your arm to rest and relax. A lot of times if you have another tom here, the ride cymbal has to go over here or sometimes up higher. So that brings your arm up into this position or over to this position. So it's kind of tedious like that. Um, I've been playing this way a lot of times now when I play out. I play with one rack tom, maybe two floor toms, maybe a floor tom depending on the size of the gig. But other than that, when I do a drum solo, I think this is just most, the most comfortable way of getting around the drum set. Um, I used to, when I first started playing drum solos, I thought that having that extra tom there was kind of like a, a helpful thing because it could get you around the drums by going this way or backwards. But I used to think like I was so scared to jump from this tom to this tom because there was such a space. And sometimes we're scared as drummers to, to do that, but it's really not that bad if you think of it different ways. And again, this triplet drum solo book that it, it gets into that kind of thing. It gets you moving around the drum so that you get comfortable and familiar with doing these types of patterns. So we're going to cut to that right now. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Uh, if you guys got any questions or problems or concerns, give me a buzz. Uh, just send me an email or a comment and I will try to get to those as soon as possible. Again, I get a lot of emails so I'll get to you as, as soon as I can because uh, I work, you know, I'm constantly teaching drum lessons uh, five days a week right now and then I play out on the weekend so it's really hard for me to to do those things and and when I get a chance to do them I sit down and I usually do them for an hour or two so uh, you know just bear with me and uh, thanks very much uh, I can't believe just recently I just think uh, I hit 200 or 2400 subscribers so thank you guys thank you for being a subscriber I really appreciate it I uh, hope you like my videos. Again, if you do like them, you know, like the video. That helps me out. Lets me know that you guys care and, and I'm doing the right thing. So uh, until then, you guys take care. Have a great Easter, and we'll talk to you soon. Keep rocking. Number one. Number two.
number five. Number 28. 